Hello YouTube, it's Grosama, and here I have today is the High Grade UC Unicorn Gundam Phoenix Narrative Version. Uh, now I started building this about two weeks ago, and I just was not in love with the colors, uh, preferably just that gold. So I decided to go ahead and do a full paint job, and this is the overall outcome. Um, overall, I think I think it came out really well. Um, there are some errors here and there. Uh, I don't know if a lot of it's going to come up on camera, um, but there were some you know little issues that I made on this kit that I'm just really not. I'm not proud that I made these issues, but it was a it was a learning experience overall. Um, so I got to learn a little bit more about the airbrush because this is my first airbrush kit. Um, so just learning about how to use how to actually use the airbrush uh, really made me a little more comfortable. Uh, so for future builds, I should be I I generally should be able to do a much better job uh, when it comes to painting kits with the airbrush. Okay, so talking about the paint that I use for this kit, uh, the first thing I did, at least for the gold, um, I use a nice um, like semi-gloss uh, spray bottle. So, uh, Mr. Color Spray was used as far as like a, a primer for the kit. Next, I use this chrome paint, which kind of had a little spillage, uh, but I use this chrome paint to um, basically spray over the semi-gloss. After that, I went ahead and used this nice blue gold. Um, so I, I think the gold came out really well. It was exactly what I was looking for because I like the uh, the Hakushiki. Uh, so I figured I would go ahead and give it a very similar kind of gold tone that's not too bright um, and something that's not too dull. But I think this kind of hit a good medium. And then after I left the gold cure, I went ahead and used Mr. Crystal Color, the sapphire blue. Uh, basically, kind of like in the light, it makes it have like a blue kind of color to it almost like a prism effect um, so it's kind of hard to see at times but whenever I'm rotating it uh, you definitely will catch it in so, uh, so on certain parts now for all the inner frame as well as some of the uh, like the darker parts on the shields uh, I basically just use gunmetal uh, I thought it had a really good color um, I do prefer gunmetal when it comes to inner frame uh, parts um, I know some people like to use gray and I think it, it really just depends on the, the kit I'm building uh, but for this one I was just you know what let me just use uh, gunmetal because I think it would just come out uh, overall better than what I would have used with a normal gray uh, type tone now for the feet as well as for the backpack uh, I basically use navy blue uh, it, it actually comes out like pretty much black um, which you know can be indicated right here on the top of the lid uh, but you know it's like it's kind of subtle like it's not definitely 100% black uh, but I think it just looks better than a very very bright blue that was actually depicted on the cover art and then lastly, I know a lot of people were telling me just to kind of leave the uh, the cycle frame alone, and I was really fixated on on painting it uh, a different color. But you know what? I was like, maybe I should just leave it alone. And then I tried this. It's basically like a ruby red. Um, so I put it on the um, the blue cycle frame, and in some instances you can definitely see the red. But I think I should have probably went a little bit more heavy, uh, so that way it could be more predominant. Whatever I'm kind of uh, shifting it with the color. And then I tested out this um, this thinner. So this thinner worked really, really well instead of the regular like Mr. Color thinner. Um, but it's basically, I guess, for metallic colors. And I, I primarily use this for like the gunmetal, uh, the like uh, prism, like Mr. Crystal colors, as well as the gold. Uh, but for anything that's kind of like normal, like a very, very flat color, like the navy blue, um, I went ahead and just used basic uh, thinner for those. All right, now let's talk about the model. Well, the model as a whole is essentially the same actual uh, molding as the regular unicorn or even the banshee. So there's nothing really new here for me because I built the unicorn so many times uh, that it just really isn't anything spectacular. Now we'll say the plastic quality is very, very hard. Um, like it's just very tough to shave and to like you know de nub and everything and to kind of you know trim down. So I really wasn't a fan of the overall uh, toughness of the plastic. It really felt dated uh, as a whole. So that was just kind of like a little issue. Um, it's kind of the same thing with the psycho frame, but the inner frame parts weren't really too bad. Um, I just really had more of my issues with all the gold and everything. Um, but as a whole, it, do it does look really good. The fitting is fine. Like nothing really falls off except for the back skirts. Um, that's the only place. I've had like most of my problems at so um, other than the back skirts kind of just like falling off like where the thrusters are um, this kit is really solid like really really solid it can hold its own um, the the back of the model uh, the DE armor um, shields those aren't really that heavy like 
you can kind of see that there's a little bit of back heaviness if you're putting it on a stand, but it's not really going to droop it down or anything. Uh, so overall, I think it's fine. I think um, you know having it stand up just like this, it, it's really going to be able to support its own weight, and there's not going to be any issues. The only thing I would probably say is though, uh, for the backpack connection part to the actual main body, maybe you want to go ahead and glue that because. Um, it kind of wiggles off just a little bit. It hasn't fell, uh, fell off yet, um, but I do fear that maybe one day it's going to really like just completely fall off uh, with the shield. So I'm probably going to glue this right after this um, this overall review. Okay, so taking a look at each part, I'm not really going to do too much of like articulation, uh, but I will just kind of show you the parts uh, as far as like each ligament. So uh, with the head, the head is going to have a um, you know a unique you know V fin for itself because it is a um, a Gundam Phoenix or Phoenix, so it's not going to have the same exact of uh, you know V fin, and it doesn't come with the original V fin of the Unicorn, uh, so that's pretty much what you're going to get. But it, it, it did have safety nubs in the back, so you do have to go ahead and cut those and trim them. Um, now there are stickers that actually comes with this kit, so these are the stickers right here. Uh, you do have some eyes, uh, which you know I just went ahead and painted those. Uh, this little gold one right there, that's actually supposed to be for you know the little uh, top camera uh, but I went ahead and just left it alone I, I decided not to actually uh, paint that I uh, just kind of left it as is because I, I don't know I just didn't feel like it was a uh, it was really necessary and then the uh, the green is gonna be for the beam rifle and then the two gold parts right here were actually supposed to be for these little um, I guess I guess these are Vulcans right here on the side so uh, I just went ahead and paint those pretty easy uh, to do overall but the head itself looks really nice um, you know, I just went ahead and painted the little uh, head Vulcans right here. So there's a little bit of uh, gunmetal on those parts. And then I painted the eyes myself, obviously. Okay, now looking at the chest, uh, I went ahead and just placed a couple of decals right there because I just wanted to uh, to have, I wanted it to be very subtle. I didn't want to just overburden this thing with uh, a bunch of different decals. So I decided to go ahead and just give it a very, very small amount, uh, which are just right there. Uh, but overall, the, uh, the chest is nice. Uh, it's pretty solid. There's not really gonna be too much of an ab crunch, so you probably shouldn't expect too much, but you get that much right there. Um, overall though, the chest is uh, essentially the same as the unicorn, so no changes there. Okay, now looking at the arms. Uh, basically, the arms are really nice. Um, you know, I, I, I just the only thing I would say is that the articulation in the elbow is going to be extremely limited. So, I mean, you're really just getting a 90 degree bend right there. So, nothing really too spectacular. You are going to have beam sabers that's going to be tucked in right here on the sides uh, of these arms. So, if you do want to use the beam sabers, you definitely can. Um, but this thing actually doesn't come with any beam saber effect parts. So that's kind of weird. I, I don't really know why it didn't, but um, if you do have some extra beam sabers lying around, you can definitely go ahead and arm them with them. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure like this kit just doesn't use the beam sabers maybe. Um, we only seen it in the trailer kind of flying around, so that's about it. But overall, I think the, uh, the arms are fine. It is gonna have uh, just these ha basic hands right here that you can go ahead and plug things into, and it also comes with an extra pair of hand, well, one extra hand for the right um, hand that basically holds the beam rifle. And looking at the waist, the waist is really nice as well. So, uh, you know, there's nothing really too different. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that these little side parts right here were stickers on the Banshee to be gold. Uh, but here it's just depicted as the, the kind of like that gray color. So nothing really too uh, bad right there. Now the back, you do you are going to have some little thrusters right here. And I painted those, uh, the chrome as well. Um, the only problem is like these things actually fall off fairly easy. So I would probably recommend, you know, gluing those as well. Uh, uh, but other than that, I mean, there's, those are like really the only parts that just constantly fall off. So um, it's not really, really too bad. Just make sure that you um, you glue them or maybe just put a little semen or something like on there. Uh, so that way it can go ahead and stay put. But uh, the little front skirts are going to be, you know, tethered uh, pretty much like one part. So you definitely have to cut in the middle if you want individual uh, rotation. All right, looking at the legs, the legs are going to be pretty poor in articulation as well. Uh, I mean, honestly, just in the knees. Uh, other than that, I mean, the legs themselves aren't bad. Uh, just really the articulation is just going to go 90 degrees, which, I mean, still isn't really too bad because considering... I, I don't know, I've never been the one to like dynamically pose uh, my Unicorn Gundams, uh, or at least not my high grades. Uh, but overall, I think they look fine. Uh, I think the navy blue for the feet look way, way better than what that bright blue was. Um, it, I think this is actually more true to the line art, because when I pulled up the line art, it, it looked almost black. 
Um, so I think this is just one, one like pretty much 100% more uh, true to the line art that I did uh, myself than what the um, the box cover depicted essentially. Uh, but it looks really good. Uh, I didn't really do anything uh, crazy. I put a couple of decals right there on the feet. Um, and then I'm hoping you can really see the, the color shifting. So like right there on the this part, this should be turning kind of like, like slightly blue. Um, I don't know if it's just me seeing it or especially like up here, uh, should be a little bit blue. So it's gonna have that little prism effect, which I think, I, I don't know, I just think it looks fantastic. Uh, but overall the legs look fine. They can really definitely, um, they can hold up its weight if I can go ahead and get it. There we go. So if you just get it in the right angle, it's definitely gonna be able to hold, hold up the weight of the uh, overall kit. So I wouldn't expect you to kind of like see any kind of issues uh, when posing it. Okay, so looking at the DE armor, um, basically this shield is really, really awesome. Um, I, I loved it ever since I first seen it back in like 2011, 2013 or so, because um, I think the unicorn had this in the novel, and then I seen it with the banshee when it, when, you know, whenever it was the banshee Norn, and I just wanted the shield for the longest time, and you know, eventually I went ahead and got it with uh, the banshee Norn, uh, as well as the. Um, I got this, uh, oh yeah, the Master Grave uh, Phoenix. But it looks really good. I had to mask all these parts right here. So this, this, uh, this up here, uh, this in the center, and all of this. Um, I had a mask, so that way I can go ahead and paint this. Uh, this was all originally the gold, uh, the original plastic gold. Um, but, you know, it kind of calls for all this to be, um, you know, gray or, you know, whatever color. It's kind of its own individual uh, color, you know, palette. Uh, but I do think that uh, there's another part on here. I think all this at the bottom is actually supposed to be gray. Uh, I would have to double check, but I'm pretty sure underneath this uh, shield part was actually supposed to be gray. And then when I found out, I've, I've, I was already done with it. And I was just kind of like, eh, like it's over. I'm not, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but that's really about it. Um, the, the shield looks really good. The only new part you're really getting with this kit is just gonna be this like little shield part. Uh, this like, um, I think it's called a stabilizer, but essentially it's a ponytail. So this is the only thing that's new that really came with the kit. Um, it just really connects to the uh, the, uh, the overall connector and that's, that's pretty much about it. Nothing really too spectacular with the shield. Uh, and I went ahead and just put one little water slide decal uh, that I got from the RG Unicorn. Uh, it's like a water size separate line. So uh, for the RG, I just de uh, decided to cut that out and put it right there instead of using the uh, the silver decals like I was originally planning. Now I know a lot of you are probably wondering where the um, the beam rifle is. Well, I decided not to build it. Uh, it's still on the runner. Um, I am not gonna like display this on my shelf uh, with the beam rifle because. I just think it looks fine without it. Um, I, you know, I was really on the fence. I was like, you know, I can definitely paint it. Uh, it wouldn't have been any issue. I mean, honestly, I would have just painted it, uh, a light gun metal, and it would have looked good with this kit. Um, but then, after long consideration and thought, I was like, you know what? This kit just looks fine the way it is. I, I think it looks beautiful, just just plain because you've seen it in the trailer. It's just kind of floating around in space, and I'm pretty sure in that movie that's coming out in November. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have the beam rifle and it's gonna like you know fire its weapon and all that um, but I'm, I'm just kind of like really satisfied with a normal plane build uh, I don't think it needs a rifle uh, but I, I, I'm gonna keep this in my collection so uh, at any time if I'm really gonna be like oh I, I need to you know get a beam rifle for this guy I can always just go ahead and pull this out and then paint it so it's not really gonna be any issues um, in the future but other than that, um, you know, that looks good. Now this is gonna come with an extra shield. Uh, I didn't cut those out, but um, you can actually see <laughs> the comparative uh, gold right here. So this ugly, like mustard looking, looking gold uh, in comparison to like this very, very dark, um, you know, gold. I, I don't know, to me it's like night and day, but you all, you do uh, have the ability to go ahead and make a separate shield if you really want to. I just decide not to, because I don't really need a, a third shield on them. Uh, but it looks really good. And you also get a uh, extra little ammo um, pouch right here, or ammo um, cartridge. So you can go ahead and plug that into the uh, the back of the you know back skirt. But once again, I just didn't feel like it was a nece uh, necessity to go ahead and put that on him. All right, so I'll just go real quick into like some of my pros and cons about this kit. Uh, the pros. So the pros is this 
out of the box, I will say out of the box, it still doesn't look bad. Uh, it's just my preference. I think the gold doesn't look that great. Uh, but I think out of the box, it is a, it is still a great display piece. Um, also, another pro, this is the only uh, retail uh, unicorn phoenix that we've ever had. Um, so regardless, if you want to if you want to build the uh, the narrative version, um, you know this is definitely it. Uh, but I do think you don't really have to build the narrative. Uh, you can probably customize some of the parts. I think I think there's ways that you can go ahead and make it just a normal unicorn phoenix. But the reason the only difference is going to be the uh, the stabilizers, which are like the little ponytails. Uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm, I mean I'm pretty sure you can definitely uh, just make this a normal phoenix and you know no issues there. So uh, that's that's definitely a perk. Uh, I've I've wanted a high grade phoenix for a long time and I'm just super super happy that I finally have the chance uh, will have the chance to build and paint one uh, now I can put it in my collection alongside the master grade um, another pro I think all together this is a very solid kit um, you know I think it's very stable um, it doesn't just parts that won't really fall off and it's kind of weird because I, I've seen a lot of people online complain about this kit or just the unicorn frame in general that they're very flimsy or they fall apart very easily and I've already built, um, let's see, one, two, three, I think three, four. I built four high grade unicorn kits, and I have not had one issue with any of them. The only thing I will say is just the back skirt uh, on top of the thruster falls off pretty easily. But other than that, this is a very, very solid kit, and I do think this this kit, or at least the uh, the frame of this kit, the unicorn, deserves a little bit of praise. And it's a fairly older kit. I mean, this came out in what, like the uh, the early 2010s. So this kit definitely is not bad. Um, I would just say, you know, if you can put a little bit of extra work into it, it doesn't really come with that many stickers, to be honest. And a lot of the stickers that it does come with are easily uh, painted. Um, there's not really that many missing color applications on here, so you, you don't really have to put too much effort if you don't want to. If you want to put the minimum amount of effort into this kit, it's still going to look great on your shelf. Okay, and now for the negatives. Uh, I would say the biggest negative is probably going to be the price. I think the price being at like 2,800 yen is pretty up there for something that's not really, like it doesn't come with a lot of accessories. Like yeah, you get the two shields, you get a beam rifle, but they didn't include any beam effect parts, like you know, beam saber effect parts. Um, it's a fairly older kit. Uh, and I just don't really, I don't think the price is justified for what you get. Like, yes, to me, it's very beautiful, but this could have been significantly cheaper. I think a 2300 price tag or maybe, yeah, maybe like 2100 or 2300 price tag probably would have been better justified. Uh, but I think for what you're getting right here, that, that price is pretty up there. I mean, that's real grade, uh, price. So, um, you know, you, you, you can more likely just find a, um, you know, a real great kit for around, you know, 2,800 yen. Um, that's just going to be significantly better, but obviously it's apples and oranges. Um, cause I think the unicorn is, uh, 3,500 yen or 3,000 yen. Uh, but even if it's 3,000 yen for the real great unicorn, I mean, that's like, that's way better, you know. Uh, just pay two, uh, 200 extra yen and paint it gold, and probably just find the, uh, the little shield part somewhere. But um, that's really about it. I mean, that's that's the biggest con uh, that I can really think of. Um, oh, the articulation, the hip articulation is pretty terrible. It's on poly, poly like poly cap joints, um, so it's not doing any splits. It's not doing anything uh, crazy. Uh, the elbow knee articulation isn't that great. Uh, but that'd be about it. I guess maybe like the shoulders a, a little bit, uh, but they're they're fine, you know, for what they are. Uh, the waist isn't too bad. The side skirts, the front skirts are all pretty good. Um, but that's that's yeah. I would say that's about it as far as cons. Just some of the articulation, price tag, uh, the colors. You know, I would just say the gold probably could have been a lot better than what we uh, received. Uh, that's probably what turned a lot of people off to buying this kit because that gold just was not as spectacular. But all in all, guys, um, I'm, I'm still pretty happy for the outcome. I do apologize that it took so long for this kit to actually get reviewed. Um, I was really enjoying my time with my family, so I didn't want to like ruin that and didn't just focus on this. But the last like few days, I was really, really focusing on this kit uh, because we had a little more downtime. They were, they were going to sleep a little bit earlier than what I have or than what I was. So I was staying up to like 4 a.m. at times uh, just to get this kit, you know, painted, detailed, and everything. Um, but I learned a lot. I learned so much.
much with uh, the airbrush uh, set that I have that I'm so, so pumped to go ahead and push out my next painted build. Uh, but I'm actually not gonna do my next painted build until after next weekend. Uh, this weekend we're getting two new kits, so I wanna go ahead and build those. Uh, I wanna build at least one or two more straight builds this week, review them, and just really get caught back up. Uh, especially now that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just really, uh, at a point to where I want to upgrade everything that I do as far as reviews. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, just stay tuned for way more reviews. Uh, I'm going to have a little more downtime. Uh, there's going to be way more announcements uh, coming out. So just stay tuned for all that, especially watch these videos uh, to catch kind of like in video up, uh, updates because a lot of times I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to make a video exclusively for like one slight update um, but that's pretty much about it guys uh, also watch the contest uh, video I made um, just so that way you can go ahead and try and you know just putting it put in uh, put in an entry and see if you can go ahead and win a prize uh, and then I would be doing a um, a giveaway very very soon uh, alongside the actual contest but that's it for me guys definitely thanks for watching uh, rate comment subscribe if you like these videos uh, also let me know what you think about this paint job if it could have been better in certain areas or um, you know, maybe what, what would you have used differently or did differently in techniques, uh, added to it, taken away from. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, definitely thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next review.